previous video, I talked about JMRI being the brains behind my layout. For this to work, JMRI needs to be able to communicate with all my devices I want to use on the layout. To do this, JMRI can use many different layout control buses. So what is a layout control bus? In simple terms, this is a data cable of some form to allow the movements of data packages. On my layout, I use two types of layout control bus. The first layout control bus uses USB cables to transfer the data to and from JMRI and to the Arduino DCC EX and CMRI nodes. One issue with this method is you only have a few USB outlets on your PC. You can get around this by adding a powered USB hub which will give you more available COM ports to use. The second method is to create an RS485 bus. To do this, you will need a USB adapter, which gives you two outputs which you use to make up your bus. These are available from many outlets and are not too expensive to purchase. You will also need an adapter for each node to take the data off the two-wire bus and into the Arduino CMRI nodes. These modules come in two types that I have tried so far. The first module requires three pins on the Arduino to work. Pin 0, 1 and 2. It also requires the auto485.h library. The second one, which I am using, only requires two pins on the Arduino, pin 0 and pin 1, and I do not need to use the auto485.h library. These units cost slightly more. It is also advised to have a 120 ohm resistor at the end of the RS485 bus, at the moment, I do not have this fitted. The data sheet for the module I am using states you can have up to 30 of them on any one bus. There is nothing stopping you adding extra RA485 buses 